All right, our last topic that we need to talk about in the unit for matter is our final lesson, mixtures and solutions. So what are mixtures and what are solutions? Now a solution, uh, right here I wanna put a solution is a kind of mixture. So I, I don't want you to think that mixtures and solutions are two completely different things, like you're either one or the other. Everything's a mixture. It's just a solution is a specific mixture, just like a rectangle is a kind of parallelogram, but a square is a specific kind of rectangle. That's kind of um, an example for that. So we're going to talk about mixtures first because all of them are mixtures overall. So what is a mixture? A mixture is a com combination, and this will be in your vocabulary too, a combination of two or more substances, and they do not have to be the same state of matter, that are put together can easily be separated and do not make a new substance. So basically a solution is an example of a mixture, but it is with two substances put together, but the difference is, is that it cannot be separated easily and it makes a new substance. does not make new substance. Okay, here is, let's see here, some tools that we could use for separation. Those things that we wanna use to separate the different things um, could be magnify, magnet, a filter like a coffee filter, a strainer, or your hands. Okay, you're, you just pick them out. Like if you had Chex Mix, you could pick it, just pick it out. Um, some processes for separation. Ways to separate the different things for mixtures would be to separate, attract, filter, or strain. So I have a bunch of things together. I can pick them apart to separate. I can attract it using a magnet if there's anything that's magnetic in there, like made out of iron. I can filter things out like through a coffee filter, or I can strain it through a strainer, a metal strainer, or a like if it's large things through like a spaghetti strainer. Um, and ex some examples could be cereal with marshmallows, like Lucky Charms, Chex Mix, sand and water, salad. Things like that. Okay. Now we're going to talk about specifically uh, that special solution. So a solution is a combination of two or more things, just like a mixture, because it is a mixture. They can be separated, but it will be very difficult. Can't. Easily separated and it makes a completely new substance. It 
So it makes a new substance together. So ways that you could try to separate Actually, let's not do tools. Let's do, because we really can't use a lot of tools. We're going to use processes for separation. Because I could, let's see here, use a couple of these tools. We're not going to really have magnetic. The filter and the strainer usually will not work. Um, we're going to separate, dissolve, evaporate. Okay, those are some processes that we can use to separate. Some examples of things that are solutions. Could be like lemonade, sugar water, salt and water, coffee, and let's see, hot chocolate. Okay, those are our examples of mixtures and solutions. So stop, take these notes, and then we're gonna go over here and we're going to do our comparing mixtures and solutions. We're gonna draw and label and questions to ask to help you determine is it a mixture or is it a solution? Not just by going by this. Okay, so our notes here are number 10, comparing mixtures and solutions. We're gonna draw a mixture. So this is going to be some rocks, leaves, pebbles, and shells. Okay, so. My pebbles are going to be here. Okay, my rocks I'm going to make. Let's see here. I will make my rocks pretty big here. go. Okay, and then I'm going to do some leaves. Let's make them some orange leaves, some red leaves. Oop, that's looked orange, but it's actually red. Let me make these all mixed in. How about some yellow? They're going to be my fall leaves in here. Um, and then some shells. We're going to pretend like shells are mixed in here. Okay. And then my other one is going to be cherry Kool-Aid. Okay. So when I mix here, did the properties change when I mix rocks, leaves, pebbles, and shells? There's still rocks, there's still leaves, there's still pebbles, there's still shells. If I put them in a container like I'm collecting them from my front yard or if I'm going on a beach and I'm collecting them all, they keep, oops, no, they're, they're the same, okay? They're still the same. Can I separate them? Sure, I can pick out the rocks, I can pick out the shells, I can pick out the leaves, I can separate the leaves by color, I can pick out the pebbles. How can I pick them out? By hand. Okay. So this would be a mixture. Okay. Cherry Kool-Aid. Think about Kool-Aid. Okay. We add the sugar, the Kool-Aid packet. Sometimes they come together already mixed. Sometimes you have to add the sugar in there and then you have water. Okay. Sometimes you put ice in there, but that's separate. I mix them together and you get one drink. Do the properties change when mixed? The sugar is no longer sugar, the Kool-Aid packet is no longer the Kool-Aid, and the water is now red. So yes, the properties do change. Can I separate it? Not very easily. I can separate it maybe by evaporation, 
and the sugar would be left behind and the Kool-Aid packet would be left behind. But it would be very difficult to separate the sugar and the Kool-Aid packet. You could separate the water from the sugar. If all of this was together, mixed together in one container, I could separate the water from this by evaporation. So that would be a solution. If I can't separate it all, it's still a solution. Okay.